In this lesson, we're going to be going through the song Psalm 23 by Phil Wickham. So this song, it's in the key of D. Um, we're going to use a capo on the seventh fret. We're going to play chords in the key of G. Phil Wickham has a pretty high voice, so I want to show you how to play it in the original key. So if you want to play along with him, if you want to play along with his version on YouTube or Spotify, you can still do that with these chords in the key of G with the capo on the seventh fret. But if you're like me and you don't have that high of a voice, you can also just use these same chords and, and use the capo to bring it down. Um, so for this lesson, I'm gonna do it with capo on the fourth fret, which takes the key down to the key of B. So you may wanna go capo on the fifth fret, you may wanna go capo on the second fret, um, you may wanna go no capo. So just experiment and play around with this capo to figure out what works best for your singing and for your voice. So for this song, I'm gonna show you the chords that we need. I wanna show you a couple of different strum patterns, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do some finger picking on the first verse and the chorus. So the chords for this song, we need the G chord here. We need the C chord. We need the D chord. We need the E minor chord. And then if we want, we can add in a G over B chord, uh, which is just gonna be your regular G chord. Take that middle finger off, keep that pointer finger on the fifth string there, and strum down the bottom five strings. So you can play this G over B if you want to. Um, you can just, you know, when you see it on the chords and up on the screen, you can just play a regular G chord if you want to. That's totally fine, depending on if you're a beginner or if it's kind of a weird and awkward change and you would rather just play that G chord, you can definitely do that. So for this song, as always, I'm gonna have the chords up on the screen. We're gonna walk through each part of this song. I have the chord charts for this song on my Patreon page, so if you wanna download the chord chart, um, if you wanna print it off to make some notes, to make some, um, you know, arrows for the strumming, whatever you need to do. I do have that on my Patreon page, which the link for that is in the description. So just know that that's a resource for you if you need it. So for this first verse, I'm just gonna go through some strumming. I'm gonna play through it one time, and then we're gonna get into the uh, couple of different strum patterns that we can use for this song. So I'm just gonna start off with some nice rhythmic down strums. You know, kind of starts nice and easy on this first verse. Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I need. You lead me to the safest places. You lead me to the safest places. To walk in the meadow and lie by the streams. You meet me in the quiet places. You meet me in the quiet places. So if you were playing this song, if you were leading this song, I would just start off super super easy and super simple with some of those down strums, kind of like I was doing there. So the song is in 4-4 four, four timing, so as I kind of count through this, we're gonna be counting to four on these down strums. And you'll see in here that I'm adding just a little up strum, just a little flick of the wrist on those bottom few strings as I go to the next chord, just to kind of give it a little bit of rhythm and a little bit of flow. So that would sound like this. One, two, three, four, 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 one, three, four, one, two, 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 three, four, one. So what makes it a little challenging is that the E minor and the G, the E minor is a passing chord. So, the Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I need. So it's getting one, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
So you may, again, you may need to print the chord charts out for this song and just kind of write some arrows and downstrums if you need help with that. Um, and also the intro for this song, it's the same chord progression as the verse. So, you know, if, you, if you're playing that intro and you're struggling to figure out, okay, how does it go? What does it sound like? Just, just sing through the verse in your mind. And that's gonna kind of guide you as to how many strums you need to do and how many, um, kind of what the rhythm and what the flow is. So that would be one way you can do the strumming. If we do the strumming for the chorus like that, it would sound something like this. Your goodness and your mercy will follow me and all the days of my life. And all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in your house for eternity. I'll be there by your side. I'll be there by your side. So counting that out. In your one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, and now one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So again, it's that E minor on the the chorus. It's that passing chord. So it gets the three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you one, two, three, then your mercy will a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So again, you might need to just rewind the video, rewind the lesson, and just take some notes on that to, to get that down. But you could do the whole song with that strum pattern. If you want to do a different strum pattern, another easy one, it's just down, 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 up. So, you know, we're counting to four, so like one, two, three, four, up. We're skipping the two, so instead of going one, two, three, four, up, we're skipping that one, two, three, four, up. So, one, two, three, four, up, one, my shepherd there's nothing I need you lead me to the safest places you lead me to the safest places to walk in the meadow and lie by your streams you meet me in the quiet places you meet me in the quiet places of course and you down, so in your goodness and your mercy will follow me and all the days of my life, all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in your house for eternity. I'll be there by your side, and I'll be there by your side. So you could do that strum pattern as well. I want to see something crazy. Of all the people who watch my channel, watch my videos, watch my lessons, only 19% of you all are subscribed to my channel. You know, I spend a lot of time uh, working on the songs, learning songs, strumming, finger picking for different songs, and learning how to communicate it to you all in a way that you can understand. So. I would love if you subscribed to my channel and supported your brother. Love y'all. Getting into the second half of the song, um, you know, you could speed that strum pattern up, just do 16th notes, something like down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, just to give the song a little bit of movement. So, you know, that could sound like, though I walk through the valley, shadow of death, Oh, I don't have to fear no evil For I know that you are with me With oil of blessing
blessing you cover my head you fill me with overflowing my cup is overflowing in your goodness in your mercy will follow me and all the days of my life and all the days of my life and I'll dwell in your house for eternity I'll be there by your side I'll be there by your side So then that goes into the interlude which again the interlude is just going to be the same chord progression as the bridge so if you're not sure like what to play or how that goes just just almost sing the bridge in your in your head and you'll just play through that chord progression once and it'll go right into the bridge. So if we're coming out of that chorus, I'll be there by your side. Kind of brings it down a little bit. table before me right in front of my enemies you're the shepherd of my soul and you in the right direction my comfort and protection you're the shepherd of my soul go right back in to the chorus so let me just walk you through that that bridge the down strums because it is a little bit different so I'm kind of just using that rhythmic down strum kind of driving pattern for the first time through the bridge and then the second time through I'm just adding a few more up strums maybe getting into a little bit of that 16th note strumming so for the bridge just walking you through the down strums it would sound like this and so starting on the U so one, two, three, four, 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 two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, two, three, four, one. Again, you may need to pause it. You may need to rewind this lesson, the video, to write down the down strums, but that'll give you an idea as to how many down strums each chord gets on that bridge. All right, so if we wanted to go through some finger picking, um, it's, it's always harder to finger pick when there's these passing chords in the song, so like that E minor. Uh, but I'm gonna at least try to show you a way that you can do it. Um, there's usually not a simple and easy pattern. So this is what I would do for that first verse. It would sound something like this. The Lord is my shepherd, there's nothing I need. You lead me to the safest places. You lead me to the safest places. To walk in the meadow and lie by the stream. You meet me in the quiet places You meet me in the quiet places And your goodness and your mercy Will follow me and all the days of my life and all the days of my life And I'll dwell in your house for eternity I'll be there by your side 
and I'll be there by your side. So there's no easy way to do this finger picking again with those passing chords in there. So let me just walk you through. I'll try the best I can to walk you through what that kind of looks like pattern wise. So I'm in my finger picking position over here on the right hand side. You've got the thumb that's assigned to the top three strings depending on the bass note of the chord. So if it's a C chord, you're gonna pluck that fifth string. If it's a G or an E minor chord, you're gonna pluck that low E string there. If it's a D chord, you're gonna pluck the fourth string, the D string. Your pointer finger is gonna be locked into that third string, the G string. Middle finger is gonna be locked into that second string, the B string. And then I have my, kind of my ring finger and my pinky finger locked in on that high E string. You know, I can pluck with that with that ring finger if I want to, but for this song, I'm just gonna keep it locked in here so that like my uh, I have a good stable bass and foundation because the picking is gonna be pretty fast. I don't want my hands coming off the, 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 the strings. So I would do something like this. So slowing that down. It's not super, super slow, but it's hard to go really, really slow and keep that rhythm of the passing chord. So like that's maybe what you could do for verse one. And then the chorus, we're using that same pattern, really. So it's just gonna be in you. So this is definitely a song if you want to finger pick, it's definitely gonna take some practice and a little bit of work. So hopefully that gives you a template and a little bit of an idea as to what you can do finger picking wise. So again, if you need the chord charts for this song to download them, to print them off um, and make some notes on them, they're on my Patreon page down below. Link for that is in the description of this video. If you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. Let me know, uh, let me know how it's going. Let me know what you're uh, struggling with, what you have questions on. And um, yeah, love you guys. See you soon.